Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Psalms 31 verse 22. In my alarm, I said, I am cut off from your sight. Yet you heard my cry for mercy when I called to you for help. Praise the Lord. God is indeed faithful. Here comes King David saying, in my alarm, when I was panicking because of all the situations that uh, I, I, I was facing, I said to myself, I am cut off from your sight. Well, what he was actually saying, friends, is that he was now helpless because God used to watch over him. But suddenly he thought, friends, that God had abandoned him. He said that I was cut off from your sight. If you are no longer watching over me, what's the help? What's my hope? That was the question now of David. But friends, remember this, that for as long as you put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, God will never leave you, never forsake you. Yes, you might think that he abandoned you because of the situations that are coming, so many problems that are coming. But friends, remember that he will not leave you because that was the promise of God to us. <laughs> Amen. And therefore, David did not, did not stop there. He pressed on, friends, though he could not see him now. It seems that God is, was so far away from him. Well, you know what he did? He kept praying and calling on God. That's why now he said here, Yet when I called on you, when I called on the Lord, he heard me and helped me. So friends, don't stop calling on God. Because we are told that whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. He will answer. Amen. So, again, increase your faith. Don't be bothered by problems that will come. All that we need to do is put our faith and trust in Him and call on His holy name. Hallelujah. There are so many situations that would come to challenge us. But remember the promise of God. That he is our ever-present help in times of need. And we get the help just as David had received the help when we trust in him and when we call on him. In fact, the Lord Jesus Christ said that whatever you ask for in prayer, if you believe, it shall be done unto you. Amen. So let us believe that when we call, the Lord will answer. And Jesus Father said that, Whatever you ask in my name, it shall be done unto you. So let's call in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, believing that by the powerful name of Jesus, friends, we shall be delivered from all our problems. So if this is your case today, you are reaching the point of hopelessness because of the problems that you're facing every day, or especially today, call on the name of the Lord. Amen. Trust in Him. Yes, you might feel that he had, he had abandoned you because of the problem that you have. In the past, you read the scripture and there's so many revelations. But today, you read and you got nothing, no revelation at all. As if he turned his face away from you. But there could be some problem with you, friends. Repent. Repent. The only reason why God would not see us or hear us is, of course, sin. So why don't we repent and ask the Lord, to forgive then we call on him then he will send the help he will answer us hallelujah friends this is a very encouraging message for us as we wait on the lord and as we continue to trust in him may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace his shalom god bless see you again next time bye